everyone, today's DIY is going to start with these wood blocks from Dollar Tree. And I am going to go ahead and glue them together using this Gorilla Wood glue. I'm going to glue two together and then I'm going to glue three together. I have six blocks in total, so that leaves one cube that will not be glued together at all. Then I'm going to leave them overnight to dry completely and set up. And this is how they turn out the following day. Now you could paint them or stain them, but what I'm going to do is take this Buffalo check fabric from Dollar Tree and cover them. You could use a variety of things, Mod Podge, Tacky Glue, or like me, add hot glue to add the fabric to the cube. It's completely up to you. And this is what the first little cube looks like. I'm going to go ahead and cover the other two. Now I'm going to take these storage containers. These are the ones that you find in the craft section, not in the office section. These are the smallest ones. And I'm going to remove the tops from three of them. But I'm going to keep one of the bottoms close at hand because I'm going to use it in just a second. And I'm going to paint the tops with this white chalk paint. Now I wasn't really thinking when I was painting and I started to paint the bottom and there really is no need to paint the bottom. You really only need to paint the outside lip and the inside lip. If you wanted to paint the bottom, just paint the very edge where you may be able to see it. But the color of these tins goes so perfectly with the buffalo check, you really don't have to paint it at all. Now I'm going to take the red paper from this activity book from Dollar Tree and I'm going to trace out three circles and cut them out. And for these, I am going to use some tacky glue to adhere the little circles down into the bottom of the lids. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other two. Drop a comment below and let me know if you would have chosen to use the red wood paper or if you would have gone with the whitewashed wood. I almost did the white wa whitewashed wood, but I really wanted to have a pop of color, so I went with the red. And now that that's done, I'm going to flip them all over and use some sandpaper to sand off the middle of each lid. And this is just going to help the glue have better contact with the surface that I'm gluing it to. And that's what you should have. Now I'm going to take these chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree and they are a little too long for the candle holder that is the single candle holder. So I'm going to use a straight edge to cut it down. I'm going to color in the part where I made a cut with a regular Sharpie marker. And then I'm going to hot glue it right onto the candle holder. I 
I did already glue down the other two chalkboard tags and now I'm going to take the little twine hanger that came with it. I tied it into a little bow and I'm just going to cover the little hole of the chalkboard tags with the bow. And for an additional splash of color, I took these buttons from Dollar Tree. I found all the little red ones and I'm going to hot glue that right into the center of each bow. I have this extra piece of nautical rope that I used on another project and this part that is untwisted or unwound I'm going to cut off and I'm going to hot glue it around the lids that I glued on just like that. Second DIY is going to start with this galvanized picture frame. I am going to remove the little clip from the middle. Then I'm going to take this beautiful gingham ribbon. I'm going to measure it out against the frame and make cuts to size. After I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and use some hot glue to add it to the frame. Again, you could use tacky glue for this or Mod Podge, whatever you want to use. And that's how it should look. I had got this ornament from the Target Dollar Spot last Christmas. It was only a dollar. And because I'm not going to hang it up, I'm going to cut the hanger and remove it. And then I'm going to add hot glue only on the parts of the ornament that will have contact with the frame. Now I'm going to take this pumpkin ribbon that Dollar Tree has. I cut two little pumpkins from it and I'm going to hot glue it down to either side of the barn door. I decided to tie a little shoelace bow and I'm going to use that to cover up the hole where I took the little clip from. For our third and last DIY, I removed the back from this little house form. And I'm going to use this fabric from Dollar Tree to cover that form. So I'm just going to find the picture of the red truck that I want to trace out. I started to trace it with a white marker, but that wasn't showing up. So I had to switch to a red marker. 
I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now I'm going to take this wired ribbon from Dollar Tree and I did already cover the bottom of it. I just wanted to see how it would look and I did really like the way that it looked so now I'm going to cover the little roof parts. I measured how much ribbon I was going to need, cut it down, and now I'm going to remove the wires. I'm going to burn the end of the ribbon and that's going to help to keep it from fraying. And then I'm just going to hot glue it onto the form. Using this jute cord from Dollar Tree, I'm going to wrap the remaining two sides. Now I'm going to burn away the little flyaways. And now that that's done, I am ready to add the backing back onto the house form. After adding it, there was a little gap in the back, so I'm going to use more of the jute cord to cover that up. I did end up cutting a piece of my craft paper, the same paper that you see on the table, to cover the back of the project so it doesn't look so bad. And I'm burning away the flyaways from that jute cord that I just added. I added a bow to the top of the project and some hanging wood beads that I secured with the knots at the bottom. This is how the candle holders turn out that you can use them for fall and winter. That splash of color of the red buttons and the red paper really help tie in the whole look of the season and I think it looks really good with or without candles. These are some of the red LED candles that Dollar Tree sells and I did choose to get the red candles to help tie in the red button and the red paper. And of course these are chalkboards. You can write whatever message you would like to and you can use real candles as well. Just make sure that you are there in the room while the candles are burning. This is how a cute little barn sign turned out. And I did add a button to the middle of the bow and I think that was the perfect finishing touch.
for our last project, I added a bit of greenery and then I used three of the styrofoam speckled pumpkins and made a stacked pumpkin figure and I think it turned out so charming. Drop a comment below and let me know which of these three projects is your favorite. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the projects, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Please share it with anyone who is looking forward to the fall season. I hope you all are taking care and staying safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.